All right, Steve Noble, Noble Moto. Uh, we're going to go over right now is adjusting your uh, primary chain tension. Um, now, I'm in the middle of doing a clutch video right now, so I got the whole thing tore apart. Um, on your actual primary control, or your primary, if you've got mid controls, you have a little access window right there in the middle. You'll be able to pull that little access plate out of there, once you take the shifter off, and uh, see what you got going on up in here. But with this thing off, I'll be able to show you better exactly what we got going on. So, uh, our primary chain tension is on this little puck down here, and then that takes up all the extra slop up in here. And that is mounted to this multi-spline back plate back here. Now, there's a lot of different little automatic tensioners out there. Um, they all are what they are. I'm not endorsing or against them. I think the stock setup is pretty solid, even though i got to come in here every 20-some thousand miles and make one little click of adjustment. Big whoop. Um, now, on, side note on that, I do have a thicker than normal pad on this. Uh, because I'm running a slightly smaller uh, compensator sprocket, so Baker sells this pad to take up from going to a 25 tooth down to a 24 tooth uh, up here. So, but you can see here, uh, you want half inch to five eighths of play. I probably got about three quarters of play going on here. All right, now we're over here. All right, so what we're going to do here, I'm going to break this sucker free. Whoops. And it fell all the way down. So, as you can see where the uh, spline, the little T-nut back there. So, we're going to go all the way up here till too much tension. And we're going to go down one notch right there. Oh, and that's just about good. So, we can see all that. We'll take a ratchet, change directions with it. We'll just snug it on up here, just like so. That looks pretty good. All right, so now we got a tape measure down here, and uh, we're gonna set that three inch mark top of the case. Tell you what, we'll even go one inch mark here. Hopefully, you can see that top of the chain. Hold the tape in place, move up, goes about the half inch mark. So, there's our half inch play. So, everything looks good. Take our socket wrench here, make sure it's set the right direction. Torque that down to manufacturer specifications, and you are ready to rock and roll. That's all I got. If you like what you see, check out my uh, other videos. Click subscribe, boop, and the link down here, or maybe it's down there. Whatever.